right? Two people, okay, Calix and Brooklyn, okay, they had some savings. They wanted to buy this water bottle, okay. Apparently, the water bottle seems quite expensive because they did not have enough money, even though if they combine their savings, all right. So based on this information, let's assume that since Calix was will be short of more money, short of twenty two dollars, so I'm gonna start off with one dollar, all right. So K Calix would would have short of twenty two dollars to buy the water bottle, which means that the water bottle costs twenty three dollars. Okay, so let's start with Calix. So represented by C, and then Brooklyn B. Okay. So if she had one dollar, okay, so I have to add their. I have to consider combining their savings also. Right, consider combining the savings as well as the water bottle's price. Okay, so from here we can work out the water bottle price, which is twenty three dollars, and from the twenty three dollars water bottle price, we can work out how much the Brooklyn have. Brooklyn was short of three dollars, so Brooklyn will have twenty dollars. So combining their savings, they will have twenty one dollars, and this will be a difference. Okay, so of twenty three dollars minus twenty one dollars, okay, there will be a difference of two dollars. Okay, right. So it means that this day will be two dollars short. Alright, so this is very close to the answer because they say that the highest price, okay, possible for the water bottle would be when they will have one dollar short, okay. So you do not need to go to zero dollars, okay, which means exact price because they say they could not buy the water bottle, okay. Still not enough, so that means they will be one dollar short, alright. One dollar short, so increase. Calix savings to two dollars, okay, two dollars short of twenty-two dollars, okay, it would mean that water bottle is now twenty-four dollars, twenty-four dollars, and from Brooklyn's short of three dollars, we find out that Brooklyn's will have twenty-one dollars, so their combined savings would be twenty-three dollars, and the difference is in fact one dollar, twenty-four dollars minus twenty-three dollars. Is short of one dollar. Okay, this is as far as you can go because they say that the water bottle cost of water bottle is a whole number. All right. Okay, so this would be the answer. You can also check that zero doesn't work. Okay, because to make it zero means that they will have the same amount. They will be able to buy the water bottle. Okay, so this will be twenty five dollars. Okay, but you do not have to include that in the working. For those advanced on, okay, I will show you another way, which is using inequality to solve the question. So we know that Calix is short of twenty-two dollars. Okay, that will give us the water bottle's price. Okay. Right. Next, we know that Brooklyn is only short of three dollars. Okay, from the water bottle's price. Okay, we know that. If we add up the savings, it will still be less than water bottle. Okay, again because they combine the savings, they have not have enough to buy one water bottle. Alright, so C, okay, would be the water bottle's price minus twenty two. That means Calix savings would be the water bottle price minus twenty two dollars. Well, Brooklyn's. Okay, Brooklyn's will be water bottle price minus just three dollars because she's only short of three. Minus three dollars, so that will be less than water bottle. Total combination of the savings, okay, after the savings combined, will still be less than one water bottle, right? Over here, adding up, I will have two water bottles. Minus take away twenty two, take away twenty, take away three, so total take away twenty five. A water bottle, so the price of one water bottle, okay, must be less than twenty five dollars. Okay, so that this will work. 
So one bottle of water price less than $25. And given the question, this whole number, it cannot be exactly $25, so it must be $24, just one less. So this is the highest you can go, $24.